Hello. I've talked about stress, about how cortisol causes muscle tension, and in a few of my videos I've even described how it impairs cognitive function through the triune brain model. This time, let's let Dr. Alan Watkins explain. I spent the last 15 years working with some of the best CEOs and executives around the world. 273, 286, <laughs> So under pressure, the frontal lobe shuts down and the simplest of tasks can't do it. That is happening to all of you when you're under pressure, right? Your brain is built this way. You get this, it's called cortical inhibition, or frontal lobe shut down, frontal lobe shut down, frontal lobe shut down. You experience frontal lobe shut down when your brain starts to engo too much pressure. Isn't that interesting? Your higher cognitive functions, the part of your brain that makes you brilliant, literally shuts down when you have too much cortisol pumping because you're stressed out, feeling too much pressure. That would definitely explain why high levels of cortisol, anxiousness, stressed out individuals have trouble getting into flow state as well, because calm and passion appear to be synonymous with this state. It's almost as if flow state is the polar opposite to frontal lobe shutdown, to high pressure. It's actually very ironic because a lot of us actually rely on this pressure we feel before a fight because the same pressure triggers the flight and fight response. In doing so, we leave our normal human self and transition into an animalistic mindset that is ready to kill to survive, if not run away. Sure. You may feel more ready to kill under enough pressure, which may make fighting more accessible to your personality. But you'll never have a high-level jujitsu teacher have you anything but calm. There is just too much knowledge and intelligent execution involved to allow frontal lobe shut down in jujitsu. And through decades of trial and error, they all know this. It's basically like the chess of MMA. You will never see a top-tier chess player raging or sweating from pressure. Your frontal lobe is designed to solve problems. A high level of problem solving, language, mathematics, logic, if you get too stressed out, these faculties are no longer accessible to you. And so if you take Conor McGregor's example, he is a man who literally feels no pressure. As hard as it may be for the average individual to understand this, he literally feels no stress, zero no pressure with the exception to his first Nate Diaz fight where he realized his punches weren't as effective as he hoped they would be. But aside from that, I can definitely attribute his brilliant precision, reaction time, ability to poke his opponents with a fluid arsenal of techniques into a trap left encounter to this calm. You can tell this man's mind is definitely on another level. And that is because he is not experiencing frontal lobe shutdown. Cody Garbrandt may not be the most eloquent when it comes to the English language, but with passion and a calm mind, he clearly is not suffering from frontal lobe shutdown. His ability to utilize head movement in almost a playful fashion, then break out into dance moves, then briefly transition into a patient hunter and wait. His mind is solid. There is no stress getting into him. Just love for his craft. The right feeling for the right moment. That is how he operates. Even looking at him, his reactions, it's clear to say he is absolutely without a doubt calm. Now, let's look at a man who typically is in a euphoric state of calm playfulness, but in his last fight, appeared to lose that calm playfulness. Michael Venom Page. Michael is definitely one of my favorite fighters. You can say all you want about the guy, say he fights with toasters or whatever, but when you see him in action, his skill, his eloquent way of transitioning between taunts, dance moves, and point style fighting is brilliant. This is only possible with intelligence, and intelligence is only possible when your frontal lobe isn't being shut down by pressure. But again, let's look at his last match where Michael was a very different person. You can tell his playful supremacy just wasn't there, and he can't find the timing to playfully express himself the way he usually does. He's usually so calm and confident and as a result, finding his opponent's chin whilst infuriating them usually pans out in his favor. But for some odd reason, he let Fernando anger him. And as time progressed, 
because anger has a very similar release of chemicals to fear, it almost looked like it transitioned into just that. He wasn't calm, he wasn't in fight, almost. He looked like a portion of himself went into flight. Michael Venom Page is a night and day depiction of a calm mind versus an angry, fearful, anxious, pressured mind. Here's where it gets interesting. What if I told you that if you had your frontal lobe intact, that you were a genius, that your mind is a brilliant tool, but with all of life's stimuli pumping fear into your heart, all just to make it more easy to market to you, it's stifling your frontal lobe. Your brain is literally getting hijacked into a more primitive way of thinking, as Dr. Alan Watkins explained. Meditate, guys. If it requires a degree of intelligence, problem solving, this applies to you. Bruce Lee, be like water, empty your mind. I don't care what anyone says, you are brilliant. I know you are, so as long as you know how. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed, it's good karma. Subscribe for more and until next time, peace.